everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today is a little vlog I want to do a little craft I don't know if it's gonna work out so uh, this is why I'm calling it a vlog <laughs> because it might turn out to be a fail okay so my plan is that I want to put a bottle opener one of these little gadgets here this old-fashioned type of way of opening our bottles and I want to put this outside on the pergola I wanted to put it on one of the posts you know the wooden posts on the pergola I thought it would be great you know, we're out there with our mineral waters. We like to get these bottled mineral waters and just pop them open and have a little sip. Now, I have one of these on my kitchen island. It doesn't have the fancy little Lone Star up here. It's just this part down here. And I have it underneath my island. I'll show you real quick here. All right, so here is the bottle opener that I have on the side of my island here. And that is what I wanted to put outside. But I decided that I don't want to remove this, so let's get to crafting all right so there you saw that and I want to have that but I don't want to move the one that I have there outside which I thought about doing but we use the one inside a lot because we're mainly inside most of the time so we pop these bottles open in, inside but the little cap keeps pretty much going everywhere falls on the floor or we catch it with our hand so I got this little tin and I thought okay this is a cute little tin a little basket and I could also screw this onto the post right underneath this just give it enough space you know to have a bottle here to pop open and um, the caps can fall in there and then I can just grab them from there whenever it gets full enough that I feel like I have to empty it out and discard them whichever way or maybe use them for a craft who knows so anyway um, I got this little basket and this and I was just gonna go put it out there on the pergola on the post but I thought you know I'm gonna be a little extra as usual and I want to put it on a little piece of wood make it like a little plaque and then go put it out there or maybe even secure it inside the house really well so this is an idea that you could use and if you have a nice place in your kitchen or somewhere where you want to put something pretty and have a little wood plaque behind it so you want to secure it on the wall of course you want to secure it correctly because you know once you're popping bottles and it's getting heavy you don't want it to just fall off the wall or wherever it is that you put it so if you want to follow what I'm doing uh, you'll need a piece of wood and I, I had scraps of wood and I could have had my husband cut one down because I had one that was perfectly wide but it was a little too long so I thought well I'm gonna have him cut it but uh, <clears throat> I was at Marshall's and I saw this chartreusery board is that what it's called chartreusery well I know that's what it's called but I don't know that's how you pronounce it uh, you know, for your cheese and your crackers. That's what I like to say. So anyway, I got one of these little <laughs> wooden plaques. It was $8. And I thought, this is really pretty. And I and I wanted it. But I thought, okay, this is not going to be enough for me to really form a little platter. But I think it's really cute to put the plaque on here. And then this here. And just give it a, a little bit of an extra oomph. So when I put it on my pergola, it looks a little bit nicer. So that's the extra. So what do you think? I'm going to put this on here. Now, there's not, lot, not enough space to put them this close because I think that, that that would be way too close, you know, you know, to, I don't know, to maneuver the bottle. It'll be hitting on here and maybe it won't open properly. So I'm actually going to hang it a little bit lower like that. So there's enough room to maneuver. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So I need a, uh, some screws because this did not come with any screws and I wanted to find something that was like old looking like this so I went through all of my husband's stuff and I did find I actually found three of them and I don't know what I did with them I don't know where I put them because I've lost them but I found another two in my little stash in my little box of screws and things like that and these fit perfect in there and they're actually the color I don't know if you can tell I'll bring the camera up closer so you can see what I'm doing on the table so I got the screws for that and then I thought, well, geez, how am I going to attach this little basket? Let me take the stuff out of there. All right, so then I thought, well, how am I going to attach this basket? So I thought, well, I guess I'm going to put screws through it also. Somehow I'll make little holes. But it does have these little openings right here, little slits on the side. So I'm going to try pushing it through there and then just, you know, messing everything up. I'm going to make sure the little handles are on each side. So I'm going to put this right on here. I thought about gluing it or maybe just poking some holes and then maybe some wire, wiring it down. So that might happen instead of uh, attaching it with screws. So I'll grab some wire if I need to, but I have extra screws here and I don't have any pretty old looking ones. So I'm just going to use these that I have. Now, my screws may be a, might be a little long and they might come out the back here, but I am going to be putting it on a wooden post side of my pergola and then I intend to screw this onto the pergola so I'll have to screw some other holes in here for the screws that are going to go into the pergola and they'll have to be longer so if these little screws 
come out just a teeny tiny bit. I'll just use my screwdriver to push them into the wood and they'll be attached even if it's by a tiny little edge there. So what do you think? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let me bring the camera down closer so you can see me uh, adding screws and stuff. I have the, my, uh, well, my husband's uh, screw. What's mine? I'm going to claim it. This is a screwdriver drill thing combination. So that's what I'm using. I've got the little drill bit to make little holes. I've actually already tested it on this wood because I wanted to see, well, is this wood going to be really hard to, you know, make a little hole in? So I've already tested it back here and it does uh, drill a hole into it, right? Actually, I did it up here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, I drilled a little hole down here to test it on the back and it did. It didn't, I didn't go all the way through. So uh, we'll see, we'll see if I have to when um, I put the screws. Okay, let me bring the camera down. All right, so I'm going to remove this little tag and I think I'm just going to cut it off. I was thinking about leaving a little rope on there. But I'm just going to go ahead and just cut right through it. Now, the decision is whether I want this to be on the top. Because if I put this on here, let me remove this tag as well. When I put this on here, oh gosh, do I want it to kind of come out like that? Now that I think about it. No, I kind of want it all on there. Okay. So, uh, you know, when I put this on here, you know, then I'll have this little hole here. So I'm thinking I'm going to put that the bottom instead so when I put the little basket that'll cover that little hole and then this will look nice up here because I don't I don't know how wide my po well it's about three and three quarters the the post on the uh, pergola so I don't think I'm gonna be at screwing it on the edges anyway at the top which would be good but I think I'm gonna have to go through here and I want to find some or actually right here is where I want to screw it to the pergola so yeah, I don't want that hole to show. So let's put that in the bottom. Okay, so there you saw me making a decision. Ha -ha. How hard was that? Okay, so now I'm going to put this here. And let me put all these little screws in my basket here because I've already lost them and the drill bit. And I don't want to have to go looking for some more. I'm going to mark where the, uh, the screws will go so that I'll know where to start a little hole. So there I have my markings, right there, and uh, I can remember how to do this. <laughs> I gotta put the, the drill bit on here instead of the uh, screwdriver head. And I'm using a, I have Phillips, so I have a Phillips head. Okay, this is a really tiny little thing, so let me see. How does it tighten this way or the other way? Okay, so I'll be right back as soon as I get this on here, because it's gonna take a little while. Okay, so I have it nice and secure there, so now I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes. And I think I'm going to put this on the edge here just in case I puncture a little too far down. And here's one. So here's some noise. I'll, I'll cut through this. So I'm just going to drill the holes. I don't want to go all the way through the wood, but if I do, well, okay. I just want to have a starter hole for the, the screw to go in. This isn't too loud, right? It's kind of nice. I told my husband I wanted my own little drill. I want, and I want a pink one. Is that too much to ask? Okay, so I've drilled some holes in there and I'm hoping that is enough drilling. So now I'm gonna switch over to the uh, Phillips screw head here so that I can go ahead and put that onto here. All right. All right, so I've got the head in there, all nice and secure, I hope. And we'll put this on here, right line it with the little holes there. And use these uh, darker brown screws that match my little rusted look here. Okay, my vintage, you know, what is the word? Oh my gosh, I can't, my, my patina, my, oh my gosh. Okay, here, let me line this up again, because. <laughs> there we go. I know the word, you guys. I just can't think of it. You guys probably think know what I'm thinking or what I want to say. All right, you guys. So that made a ton of noise, and I couldn't get my screw in there. So I think I have to drill the hole even further into my my uh, board here because this screw is just just seems to be not going inward. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out and make these holes a little deeper. Maybe even go all the way through and then get the screw through there. 
All right, so it took a lot of work, but I finally got that screw in there and I realized what the problem was is the drill bit that I was using initially to make the hole in the wood was too thin, it's too small. So then the screw uh, was, you know, fighting to get through the wood because this is a really hard wood, by the way. So it just depends on your wood, you guys. So I had to go get actually a, a two more uh, drill bits because I got a thicker one. I already put the other one away to compare. I got the other one and it was still too thin. So I got this one and gosh, you guys, it was still a little bit too thin. But I got that screw in there. It made a whole lot of noise to finally get that one screw in there. And I did make the other hole a little bit bigger as well. So now I've got to put the other screw in there. And what I've gone ahead and done, I've gotten, gotten ahead of myself here. Um, let me get this stuff out of the basket again. All right, so I've, I've gone ahead and I put my little basket. And the little screw back here is protruding out just a little bit. So I'm trying to be careful not to scratch up my beautiful contact paper that I had to order. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put this on here. So I've gone ahead and I've got my mark, my, my marker, my pencil. And where these little holes are in here, I've marked through them to the wood and made two dots on here. And then I got, went ahead and I screwed holes down there as well. You can see those right there. So I'm going to do the same thing and put some screws right in here. So that should be it. So let me get this, this screw in there and then we'll try that other one. Let me pull it over to the edge of the table once again and make a ton of noise. a really loud noise right okay so I had to clear out everything off the table because the table was shaking everywhere and rattling everything and things were sliding off so there we go I've got that on there I think it looks pretty cool you guys but you know what really upsets me is that I put this on upside down look at that because <laughs> I'm looking like why is there so much space here you guys oh my gosh so now I take it off and turn it around and <laughs> put it the right way so I shall be back all right, so I fixed it, <laughs> and look how nice it looks. It looks so much better because it is going the right way and not upside down. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put a cloth down here because I don't want these little points, little edges, little tips here of my uh, screws to scratch up my table. So I'm putting this on here, and then I can just slide it around and do what I have to do. So I'm going to turn this around, get everything out of here again. So now I'm going to attempt to put this on here, and gosh... I am so reluctant now to do it because I feel like I'm not, this is not going to work out. So I might have to do the wire situation. And what I'll do is I'll make another two little holes. Yeah, a little bit further down or maybe down here so I can bring the wire. We'll figure it out. But right now, let's see. Yeah, I think the little holes should be right up at the top so the wire can go over this. I don't want the, the wire to show though. So I'm kind of, you know, kind of iffy on this. Let's see. Let's just put that right there. This is the problem is that this is, you know, this is in the way, this part. So I don't know how, how to get my, well, I guess the screw will go in crooked, but the hole is not crooked. So maybe if I have it facing me or this way, so I don't have to be like this. Okay. All right. Let's, let's try this again. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screws through there first a little bit get that little hole a little bit you know used to the uh the screw let's do that and then because you know the hole matches the uh the, the drill bit right? yeah that's working a little better okay let me go ahead and pull these out Come on. and don't forget to flip this okay now get these over here my cat is gonna be a nuisance because I am of no use to him until I am busy let's see if this will, you know what guys I don't even know it's gonna go through the metal the little the little slot there probably start a fire you know trying to get this through there I'm hoping that I can sort of kind of break through the metal okay that kind of worked okay let me let me put the other screw and then I'm gonna go off camera so I can struggle <laughs> I guys I think it would work better if I did do the wire idea but you know what I'm, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this okay let me struggle some now I gotta go like this so I can get my hand in there come on stop sliding around on me this is fun 
This is fun trying to figure out things like this. Don't give up. Oh, my cat is just loving my legs. Okay, here we go. Here we, no, no, we don't go, not yet. Come on, I got the other screw in there just fine. Why are you being such a Nancy? Okay, sorry Nancy, so I didn't mean that. Oh, you're being such a Trisha. There we go. Right, like you said, I'm gonna go off camera because this is probably gonna make a lot of noise and I might start a fire. Let me move my table up a little bit. Hi. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it because I know you love to see the, the struggling. Okay, some of you do. Oh, you meanies. Okay, here we go. Okay, you guys, I know this is gonna work. The screws are in there, they're hot by the way. Ooh, I touched them. This is not gonna move. The screws are not all the way in. I want them to go all the way in, but I just don't have the strength to push down. So I'm actually gonna have my husband help me with that. But yeah, this is this is holding on really well. But look at that. It looks so pretty. Look, I'm gonna hold it like this so you can see the whole thing. But uh, anyway, yeah, I want these screws to go all the way in. Let me show you what they look like right now. If you can see that. See how they're kind of popping out a little bit? Well, I want them to go all the way in. So that's worked really well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some a uh, couple of more screws uh, that'll be long enough to go through here and into the uh, posts of my pergola. And what I'll do is I'll drill the uh, the pilot holes on here first. And I might have to do it on my pergola, so I'll put it on there so you can see what it looks like all finally done. But this is what it looks like here inside of my craft room. I love it, you guys. Look at that. That is so cute. I love it. It's so different, and I like the little shape here on the side. I wish it had the same on the other side but regardless I think it looks really nice now this is going to go outside so it's obviously going to get way more weathered so if you want to brush something on here like uh, a sealant or maybe even on your rustable rustable parts go right ahead and do that or maybe you want to spray paint it all one color I would not do that to mine because I love the word is rustic I was looking for the word rustic and for some reason it just wouldn't pop out I am going to go ahead and give this another little chance of pushing those in but it's uh, around lunchtime my husband should be coming for lunch and I'll, I'm gonna have I'm gonna bother him and have him do that but we'll see it'll probably be on the pergola before any of that happens but <laughs> there we go let's go outside now all right so before I've gone ahead and put it on here before I try screwing it on I did put this against uh, on here where I want to put it and then I put the drill through that little hole so I could drill into these uh, back or the post as well where I want to hang it. So now I've gone ahead and put the, the screw in there so it's sticking here so I can feel, put it in that hole and then screw it all the way in. And then I'll put the drill bit back on there and then drill through this so it comes out the other side and make another pilot hole into the post as well. And then I'll put that second screw in. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I've got it lined up with the other hole. There it is, and it is super hot. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put the drill on and go through this little hole so it goes through the post, and then come back and put the other screw here, and that should do it. But I think my husband is going to have to come home and push those in further in. Just, I actually got these bottom ones in the little basket. I actually got them to go all the way in. I used a little, a little bit more weight to push down the, the uh, screw driver here and push those in. But up here on this wall, I don't know. I, I, I might need him. He's probably going to come and take those screws out and put a whole new longer screw, uh, screw through there. But I really wanted to get it on here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let me get change this to my drill bit. All right, you guys, my husband is here. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking that I'm doing, but here we go. Okay, I need him to push that so it'll be flat because I can see that it's, you know, coming up a little bit like that. And then also push that in there a little bit, but there we go. I think it looks super nice. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, you guys, so there it is on the post here so you can look from the side here my husband already came and he did see this uh, he thought I did a good job but he's gonna go ahead and replace those screws so they go further into the post here 
so this is well uh, you know it, it won't come off you know easily not only that but he said those, those screws are not good enough for that so there we go oh, and then I have this uh, a geranium pot hanging let's see right there but when I hang it it hits right up against this so I'm actually gonna move that screw over and I really wanted to hang it so you can see how pretty it all looked with the geranium hanging on there but it looks terrible but yeah that's gonna be there so another little project but that is what it looks like I'm really happy with it you guys all right everyone so there it is all complete so now I'm gonna test it and see if it'll work with my bottle and hopefully nothing comes off I'm pretty sure it wouldn't if my husband had used the proper screws but I'm gonna find out if what I did is good enough for now there we go <laughs> it worked I was just holding on to this I wasn't holding on to this but anyway <laughs> it worked you guys and now I can have a refreshment all right so it looks like it's about to rain it's pretty cloudy outside and uh, I'm gonna go inside and share this with my husband all right everyone so I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so so hit that red subscribe button down below and once you will hit that you'll see a little bell right here go ahead and hit that as well you'll get notified of all my videos as I upload them and I try to do two videos per week and I try to do a craft video and a recipe video. So that's my recipe video for today. <laughs> Mineral water. How to open up a bottle and drink it up and going the long way by creating this. All right, everyone, please leave a kind comment down below. You can also go to my Facebook, Trisha's Creations. The link is also down below in the description box. And um, join us there and you can post your craft ideas and your recipes if you want to do so. Uh, once in a while, I add something extra in there or just something different. But anyway, uh, I would like to have more of you, you know, kind of uh, interacting there. So uh, I'll try to interact some more so that you'll join me. And uh, as always, uh, thank you very much for everyone who's been supporting me. And uh, make sure you leave a comment, leave a like, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And uh, share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.